Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to jump straight into the New World database, featuring items and weapons and gear, really, in general, that have insane perks, late game, legendary, tier 5, gear score perks that are going to be continue, like I said, to make a huge impact in that late game. Uh, you know, whether it's war, outpost rush, or just PvP in the open world, these are going to be gears that uh, you're going to want to really focus on grabbing in the future, and I picked out just a few that have huge potential in that uh, like I said that realm of possibility first we have the wildfire torch we have 30 intelligence an empty gem socket empowering fireball dealing 31% additional damage light and heavy attacks dealing 9.5% more damage and then on critical gain 15% in power for five seconds the cooldown is 10 seconds on that so that's not too bad at all and we also have jewelry that I've seen um, in this database that talked about I think it was a duration of about 14% increase on Empower, so you could actually pair that together, and you'd seen Empower for quite some time on Critical. So this is definitely, like I said, one of those fire staffs that get me very, very excited about New World coming back to me, because I'm going to grab this, no doubt in my mind. Um, and you can actually see where this comes from as well. And like I said, guys, this is nwdb.info. If you guys want to take a look at the database yourself, a lot of great weapons and gear here to actually take a look at. Like I said, I did kind of deep dug through it and picked out some of the biggest ones for you guys so we could talk about them. Found in loot containers, you can actually see it's Outpost Rush Cash. So this is something you can get in Outpost Rush. And that's crazy to me that you can get this good of gear in Outpost Rush. We'll see if they nerf that in the future. But as of now, Outpost Rush is one way to grab this insane fire staff. I want to jump into the nether one, uh, another one here. We have the Ice Gauntlet. So this is what I believe is one of the strongest. You know, my buddy Alf, he's actually, like I said, if you guys aren't subscribed to him yet, he's in the description down below. You can subscribe to him. He actually plays a Rapier Ice Gauntlet now, um, switching away from his Great Axe gameplay because he didn't like how busted it was. But he has this Ice Gauntlet in mind specifically because here you can see 30 Intelligence, which is obviously great. We have the Empty Gem Socket. Uh, we also have Unending Thaw, so Frost Effects remains on enemies for two seconds after exiting Ice Storm. And for those of you who've played Ice Gauntlet and, uh, you know, played this build that he plays, you understand that this is huge because it's going to give you the opportunity to continue those heavy attacks, heavy autos onto them and actually apply that, uh, you know, freeze for just, a, you know, a quick second. You also have the Light and Heavy Attacks reduce your active weapon cooldowns by 2.8%, and then Light and Heavy Attack uh, really attacks deal 9.5% more damage, which is huge because this is going to be an auto attack build for the most part that you're going to be using with the Ice Gauntlet if you're going that build that he goes. So just absolutely huge. I think this is going to be another great late game content uh, Ice Gauntlet that you're going to want to grab. We also see that it is a craftable recipe. So here you can see the output item being the Crystalline Curse and the ingredients being water. Uh, runic leather, uh, runestone, ice crystal core, eternal ice, wildwood, and blister weave, all being, you know, late game resources. So this will take a little bit longer than my, uh, hopefully, fire staff. Uh, let, let's jump into the next one. We have Voidbringer's Rapier. So this is a 30 dexterity empty socket for a gem. Each hit of flurry restores 28% of damage as health. On crit, cause bleed that deals 7% weapon damage per second for 10 seconds. And then we also have the 11% uh, critical chance. So just crazy to see another great weapon out there and available to us at that level 60 Void Bringers Rapier. Definitely looking like one of the strongest, in my opinion, for at least, uh, you know, maybe, maybe putting in Flurry as a possibility in my next build. We'll see if that's a possibility when I do get this very peer for sure. Uh, but we also see the crafting recipe here. Um, I'm not going to talk all the way through these crafting, crafting recipes, but some stuff stuff that's going to take some time to get to for sure. So that's going to be a late game a late game item for sure as well. We also have, and you can see that here as well, guys, that it does require a Forge Tier 5 as well as Weapon Smithing Skill Level 200. We also jump into the next one that we have, Last Stand. This is going to be one of the strongest Great Axes I've ever seen. 30 Constitution is going to be something that you're going to grab anyway, so it's not a big deal that it's Constitution instead of Strength. And then you have the Empty Gem Socket, obviously going to be a thing that you're going to see on all of these, so I'll probably skip talking about that so you guys don't have to hear hearing me talk about that Gem Socket. But we also see when you kill something, gain 30% for for three seconds and that's a five second cooldown another uh, great thing to notice is there is jewelry like i said for empower that you know dirt low or i guess kind of raises that duration for empower that's the same thing with fortify so we see here this jewelry does actually make fortify uh you apply last 14 percent longer and you're going to see that right here so just crazy crazy matchups that you can do here uh, i do want to go back to last stand and talk about the insatiable gravity well gain 50 percent of your damage with gravity well back as health and cast another burst around you on successful hit 
gain 1.4% of your damage as health and does not trigger off persistent damage or D, uh, DOT effects. So just crazy, like I said, some insane items. These are going to be absolutely great uh, in that late game content of New World. We also see Infamy. So this is a, uh, a musket. A lot of you guys playing musket out there. This is going to be absolutely insane. We have a comment here dropped in Lazarus Expedition gear score 595. So Maximus, thanks for the comment. I love when people comment and give us kind of more of an idea where you've gotten this in the past. This is a crazy, crazy good musket. Uh, so it gives you that just basic 11% crit chance, 11% critical damage, and light and heavy attacks dealing 9.5% more damage. Um, you know, obviously a socket as well. We have dropped by the Caretaker, Angry Earth. Like he said, Lazarus Expedition is one of the drops there. We also jump into the next one, Decisive Victory. This is another one I thought was pretty solid of a musket. Uh, I just wanted to kind of mention how big this part was specifically. Targets hit with Powder Burn are slowed by 23% for 5 seconds. That's a massive, massive slow. Uh, you're going to be able to catch up to that person instantly, and it's not hard to hit shots with the musket in my opinion. So this is going to be a great item as well if you're looking for open world PvP content and you want to slow somebody so you can actually catch them so they can't just run away from you. Uh, this is actually from a Dark Spriggan cache, so not too hard to grab that one either. You're just going to have to beat up a uh, Spriggan and hope for that cache to obtain it. We have a Lazarus bow as well. So this is kind of the same thing as the Infamy. You can actually see that it's pretty much the exact same thing, just a bow. So, um, all right, I clicked the wrong one there, but Infamy and Lazarus bow are the exact same. And you can actually see here 11% critical damage, 11% critical chance, and then that light and heavy attacks deal 9% or 9.5% more damage overall. So just a very strong, just in general, bow. And this is actually dropped by Scylla as well. So that's going to be another boss that you're going to have to beat up to actually obtain the Lazarus bow. We have the Warp Wood. So another interesting one, in my opinion, Poison Shots also applies weaken reducing targets damage by 14% for four seconds this will definitely be a bow that's very very good for 1v1s if you're looking for a pvp dueling uh, bow this could definitely be the one for you because it's going to allow you to actually tank a lot more damage if they do end up getting on top of you as long as you have poison shot in your area and they jump into it trying to attack you there you go. We also have increased 14% headshot damage and on crit cause bleed that deals 7% weapon damage per second for 10 seconds. So these other passives are just as good, if not better. We also see that it is a recipe build. So you're going to have to get the specific uh, ingredients to actually make this happen and level 200 at the workshop tier 5. We also have the dragonfly jewelry. So this is another one that just continues to show how crazy some of this stuff can get. Here we have deal 4.8% more thrust damage. That's going to help your rapier quite a bit when it comes to damage. And I just wanted to kind of show that specifically. Also having reduces active cooldowns by 0.95% after exiting the dodge animation. And then you have 9.5% more max, or I guess, you know, 9.5% max stamina. I want to see how much that really ends up being, obviously, late game, that 9.5% max stamina, to see if you could maybe get a third or even a fourth uh, roll in before actually happening to wait for your stamina bar to come back up. I also want to take a look at Aurora. I also want to take a look at this jewelry piece here. So we see reduce the generation of threat by 50% for five seconds after performing a dodge. But you also have, this is the biggest thing, when you drink a mana potion, gain 9.4% of your max health. And I want to kind of reiterate how big that is. You're going to have basically two health potions if you have a decent sized mana potion on top of you. Uh, you're going to be able to drink your mana potion and a health potion. This is going to be insane for open world PvP. I do expect this to turn on a lot of fights having, like I said, double potions. People will not be expecting you to be able to drink another potion that gives you health. This is going to continue to bring so much outplay potential to the game. And it's also dropped by Ivan the Inevitable, uh, a lost uh, a mob there. So I want to jump into another one here. Doom's Chance Earring. So this is going to be huge as well because potions cool down 28% faster. In my opinion, potions come up a little bit too fast. I think it's like, what, 30 seconds? Uh, so this 28% faster is going to be absolutely insane, giving you potions pretty much nonstop. Um, so if you're in a longer duel, maybe if you're going a tankier build and you can wait just a little bit longer for that next pot to come up before their pot would come up, you're going to be able to take people out very, very easily. And they're not going to understand why or how you're able to, able to get your, you know, your pot, uh, you know, going before theirs. But it's going to be a great opportunity for you guys to outplay, like I said, your opponents. We also see, like I said, this one, we talked about the Fortify really applying last 14% longer. You can also gain 9.5% more health from all incoming healing effects, and you take 4.7% less slash damage, so that 
great axe won't hurt you, hopefully near as much. Just some great, great jewelry out there as well. And I think, you know, I covered just the baseline of weapons and jewelry in this video. Some earrings that are insane. Um, there's a lot of rings as well that are pretty amazing. And I just want to kind of mention, you know, these are just some of the ones I found in the database. I'm sure there are more out there and they're going to be just crazier, even random drops where you can compare or I guess, you know, you can craft or pair specific, uh, you know, you can craft or pair specific really passives on one weapon or one piece of jewelry and it's going to be crazy what people come up with and i think these builds are going to be allowing you guys for so much outplay just in the build itself that uh, when you apply that with your actual skills in game you could see some crazy things happening and taking place so thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about some of the insane pieces of gear out there and available to us when we come to that release date so thank you guys again make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video to stay up to date with more new world content.